Hey, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. I'm going to show you another one of my shop tips. I'm working on chainsaw today, but this is good for weed eaters and anything that uses this little Tigon fuel line and any other little fuel line. I got some the Echo fuel line, the black fuel line, or pretty much any small rubber line. And what I'm going to show you today, a lot of times the fuel line, you need to get the right size to go through a hole, usually in a gas tank or an oil tank, because it has to seal up against that hole right there. So you have to use a certain size line to do that, but then the other end of the line, it has to hook to a, a little spigot on a carburetor or the little filter that goes in the oiler tank. You know, the other end of the line has to go over a, a spigot of some kind. And a lot of times, it's a really, really tight fit, and it can be a trick to get it on there. And here's how, I, you know, usually you can just uh, lube it, and I grab the bottom of my T-shirt, and grab it and it gives you a good grip on it and you can push it on there and a lot of times what you want to do is you want to roll it on there and what I mean by that is once you get the end started you want to just keep sliding your finger over it and you're kind of making a, a roll like a wave in the rubber that makes it walk on there uh, sometimes even that is really really hard to do you can use needle nose pliers but a real easy way to get a small line on a fitting that's a little too big and really hard to get on there is to use a heat gun. Uh, this is a just a cheap heat gun from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, the last heat gun I bought from Harbor Freight Tools lasted about 16 years and it finally took a dump the other day and shorted out and died. <laughs> but I just bought this one. It was like 10 bucks and it's just a basically a blow dryer on steroids. They get extremely hot. It's got two heat settings. And what you want to do, you don't want to just put the heat on that rubber hose. You just want to warm that hose up a little bit, sort of slide on the whatever fitting you're trying to put it on. And the best way to make sure you don't get it too hot is to hold the hose in your hand while you're shooting it with that heat gun. And you want to keep the heat gun, you know, a foot or so away from your hand. And you want to keep moving the hose around and just get the end of the hose really good and warm. And I keep my hand on the end of the hose because I know if I get my hand too hot, I'm getting that hose too hot. And you just want that hose nice and warm. And when you do that, it will slip right on to whatever you're trying to put it on. Even if it's a lot bigger than the end of the hose, uh, you get that hose warm and it will slide right on there. And once it cools back off, it will contract back to its original size and it'll be extremely tight on whatever you put it on. Uh, but that's just one trick I use when I'm trying to get one of these hoses on something. And uh, what I'm trying to put it on is just a little too big, but the hose has to be the size it is because of the other hole it's going through. Uh, just warm it up a little bit with a heat gun and slip it right on there. Another thing you need to do is lubricate what you're putting it on. And sometimes I put squirt a little lube inside here. Lubrication when you're trying to put these hoses on fittings helps a lot. So don't forget to spray some lube on it. I use liquid wrench. Uh, lubricating oil. Uh, I love this stuff. I use it for everything. But just squirt your little lube on there. And that's just a few of the things I do to get these little hoses to go on fittings. I uh, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.